This publication treats the subject of baptism and refers to the directions given by the Lord Jesus Christ to his apostles, who spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. The subject and practice of baptism has been the cause of much contention among those professing Christians, causing great division between believing families, groups of churches, countries and nations. Various views have developed in terms of its meaning, practice, its significance and who should be baptised. I was christened as an infant at the age of three months old, but when I became a Christian on the 16th of January 1970, I was baptised by immersion as a Christian upon the confession of my faith. But my older brother, Michael John Clark, was unaffected by my conversion and 23 years later was arrested and sent to prison in the Philippines. It was there. After five years of his 16 year sentence, he wrote to me and sent me an audio tape telling me of his conversion from crime to Christ. On this news, I was moved to write our story and wrote to instruct him to be baptised as a Christian. After the publication of our story, on the 11th of February 2001, Gordon Smith contacted me after 24 years, having seen the newspaper write-up of our story and we decided there and then to go on a mission of help to Michael. We were invited by Reverend Joseph Kim, the director of a Presbyterian mission from Korea, to visit the Philippines and work under his direction in New Bilbid Prison and other jails of the Philippines. We then went on our first Trojan Horse mission in August 2001 and we witnessed a great work being done by inmates who had become Christians within New Bilbid Prison. We began to work within and without the prison to help these inmates and to promote the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a result of that mission, we witnessed many subjects of baptism and the contention that it caused. This is written to inform any believer who has or wishes to be baptised exactly what the apostles of our Lord Jesus meant and taught by this practice. In sharing this account and story, I direct you to a series of our personal historic YouTube videos which we made during our mission trips to the Philippines in our playlist entitled Baptism and Authority. And at the end of the book, I direct you to a range of further publications which may be accessed via hyperlinks that will take you to readable and downloadable PDFs, all for your study and education, free of charge.